played with some of the greatest blues players in the world. Muddy Waters, Screaming Jay Hawkins, Howlin' Wolf. <laughs> no one ever told me that playing drums would eventually wear things out. I played hard. See, uh, a lot of guys play flat-footed like that, like that. I played way up on the pedals like that. So my feet were like that, man, banging those pedals like. So now we know what wears these out, don't we? <laughs> this is the gold and platinum for the, the work I did with the Doobie Brothers. You just try and learn to live with it, but man, you know. He always had some knee soreness and issues. You just hear him wince when he goes up and down the stairs, kind of like. <sighs> or some little swift turns, he'll just really just, yeah. Come on over here. Uh -huh. And move that way just a little bit. So you're having a lot of pain today, huh? Well, yeah. My knees give me enough pain to where it gets really bitter. He came home and I watched him get out of the car and stand there for a, at least a minute. And I thought, oh, gosh. The problem with pain is that it's a slow grind and it just beats you down really slow. Are you getting any clicking, catching, buckling? Oh, yeah. Things like that? Yeah, if you, if, oh, yeah. Has your walking distance decreased? Yeah, sometimes going from the house to the car is an issue. Any discomfort that way? Yeah. OK. Yeah, no, and I'm going to have to push here for the I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry, okay. I know. That's all right. That's it. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm used to it hurting. You've lost all the cartilage, so that's all bone on bone now. Basically, what we do is go in and just shave off that bad bone. We're going to use Mako Plasti. It's a resurfacing of the knee versus a total knee replacement. And that gives that nice smooth surface. And the incision is going to be about this big, right about there. Okay. Well, we'll take good care of this guy. Can't wait till we're on the other side. Just can't wait. Here we are. In San Diego, Sharp Coronado is the first hospital to utilize makoplasty. Oh, nice outfit. Thank you. You look good, too. Let me sign your knee, OK? Make sure you get the right one. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. You'll be just fine. <laughs> I'm going to be using robotic arm technology with 3D modeling. We put two trackers here, two trackers here, so the computer is reading the position of the knee. There we go. If I turn the leg one direction or another, that robot knows where it's at based on the trackers. That's really good uh, registration there, 0.29. So we'll the computer is going to tell us how to balance the knee, make the knee stable, and how much bone to take. If I can't go to this part of the knee, the computer won't let me do that. If you go outside the line, it shuts itself off. Okay. All this is burred out to make a bed for this prosthesis. OK, posterior pose. The future of orthopedics is robotics. Yeah. I can't believe they're going to get you up walking. That's like unbelievable. We'll see what kind of man he is. <laughs> Almost every That's knee replacement deal. takes the ligaments. And so what we do for a partial knee is we keep the ligaments, the ACLs retain, Posterior crucian is retained. Feel good to be off your back? Well, I was pretty comfortable. <laughs> Stand up. All right. You're up. You want to go for a walk? Sure. Good. People have the surgery to get moving again, to get them down on the floor playing with their grandchildren or going on fantastic vacations and hikes with their families. That's why I'm a physical therapist, to, to help people return to the things that they want to do most. You are looking great. We don't often see people up and walking on their first day, and we've seen more of that with the makoplasty. <laughs> How you doing? You doing all right? Good, man. Wow. Feel better? I can already tell that there's good. a difference. When I put my foot down, the bite wasn't there. <laughs> I can't imagine my knee is being any better.
if somebody let me play in their band, I'd be there, man. <laughs>